morning and welcome to Enlightened Heart Soul Connection. I'm Naoma. So, I want to do something a little bit different today. Um, well, I mean, it's not much different. We've done the coffee chats before where I've sat here and um, rambled about stuff. But, anyway, yesterday... Yesterday, after I finished that reading about the Initiates of Fire, um, I went to work, and I worked all day, and I came home, and for whatever reason, it popped back up into my head, and um, yeah, I want to talk about it, because when it came back up in my head, I heard very clearly, baptized by fire. So, I did a little bit of research. There is a scripture, there's a scripture in the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 11, and it talks about John baptizing Jesus. And I got to thinking about what, what 311 is, because to me that was a synchronicity. So, 311 is personal growth, trusting intuition, personal growth and trusting your intuition. Be optimistic and strong and you have the support of the Ascended Masters. So that's the 311. And if you go into um, either Google or Siri, ask about angel number 311 or the numerology for the number 311 and you'll get um, a message for yourself. Anyway, there, um, this is, this is for the initiates of fire that will then be baptized by fire. This is a profound theme that speaks to the transformative power of intense experience. It's about emerging stronger, purer, and more enlightened from the trials that we face. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11 says, I indeed baptize you with water into unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. I indeed guide you with water for transformation. But the one coming after me carries a greater power, far beyond what I possess. I'm not worthy to hold his sandals. He will immerse you in the essence of divine consciousness and guide you through life's trials and tribulations. With the energy and power of Source, He will mark you, igniting within you the flame of Christ consciousness, purifying and empowering your spirit. So I want to move um, over to the table because I want to pull some cards. I want to find out what trials this collective has overcome. I want to know about the inner strengths that have been developed. And I want to know about what new opportunities. So let's pull a couple tarot. Already shuffled the deck. Spirit. Mm -hmm. What trials has this collective overcome that they've been baptized by fire? So tell me about the trials. 
That was the emperor that was set before. Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. For some of you, this is a relationship, an unequal or an unbalanced, an unbalanced relationship for some of you. For others of you, this was the struggle to gain stability in resources, mm, mental health, faith. This was just struggling to gain to gain stability basically is what it is so <clears throat> this is stability in relationships stability in um, love stability in uh, resources <sighs> because we have the five of pentacles here and five of pentacles this is about um, in most decks, this is the feeling of being left out in the cold. For this card, it's just the feeling of being left out. In general, there's a door, and the key is right here outside the door. All she's got to do is pick the key up and put it in the lock. Struggling to make choices. Struggling with the choices. But this is more of that. A, yeah. So there is a... I guess there is a big handful, you guys. That a lot of your trials and tribulations have dealt around relationship matters. And that had to be overcome. You overcome it overcame it so if you're a masculine in this collective all right if you're a masculine in this collective here's the obstacle all right being left out and feeling hopeless in matters of relationships but what you overcame with that struggle you know in overcoming that struggle your growth led to emperor energy and if you're divine feminine or just, you know, a woman in the collective. When you overcame, you became this Queen of Pentacles. This is all the queens. You're fertile, intuitive, strong, energetic. You can manifest anything. Your mental prowess is on point.
you're one step away from the Empress. And quite frankly, with the Emperor out here, you have pretty much made it to Empress status. For all of you, you've got your money situation is stable, you've learned patience. You're creative and inspired and you're reaping the benefits of all the hard work that you've done. You've come out of being disillusioned and confused and heartbroken and you're able to manifest anything that you want. This is your new journey and your Ten of Cups. Spirit is giving you guidance and protection. Bringing you your stability. For a lot of you, you've um, been stuck within, you know, when I talked about yesterday, the initiates of fire. A lot of you are coming out of unbalanced and disharmonious relationships with family, friends, and partners. Um, stuck in these cycles of being taken advantage of. <clears throat> so, Spirit, what inner strength has been developed over time as the collective has woke up and dealt with their traumas, their trials, their tribulations. What inner strengths? You must become like a small child in order to get to the kingdom of heaven. Is that the line? Is that the scripture? That's what I'm hearing. So we got the page of wands out here with the king of pentacles. This is... This is learning how to wield your energy for total balance and harmony within yourself. Because this, we've, we've got here like the King of Pentacles. Like this is stability. This is wealth and abundance. This is power. But this is the love, love of self, love of community. 
This is all four kings. This is honesty and like you, you've become everything. Cats. <clears throat> you know, and then with the page of wands here, it's like, you know, This is that childlike, creative, artistic, playful energy. And with these two cards here, I feel like you mastered, you mastered inner strength. And, you know, I mean, you're sitting in this emperor, queen of pentacles, energy, king of pentacles, king and queen of pentacles. I mean, that's emperor, empress energy when they're together. And this is mastery of it. And spirits reiterating here. I mean, this is, you've got a 10 of cups coming. There's no more need to feel like you know, you have to be in competition with anybody. There's no more fighting. This is five of wands. This is competition with yourself. Most for most of you. I mean, some of you may have been, you know, you may have some parents who felt the need to compete with you on, um, all levels. I don't talk too much specifically about my mom. But I feel like I've been in competition with my mom my whole life. Everything that I have ever wanted to accomplish, if I had brought it to her, she would turn that and make it a thing for herself. I said I wanted to do bite sports with my dog since she sent me a text later said she wanted to get a dog and do search and rescue competitions with a dog. I mean, I'm just saying it's, it's stupid stuff like that. I started grooming dogs. My mom started grooming dogs. Like I've just always, and she had to step it up one notch. And instead of just learning how to groom dogs, she like immediately opened up a business for herself. Now, my mom has a successful dog grooming business. She does mobile grooming. There's no hard feelings between me and my mom at all in that department. But, you know, just an exa you know, as an example, everything that I did or wanted to do, my mom felt the need to go off and do it herself and do it better. And I don't know if it was an inner jealousy thing that she, you know, was aware of or not. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> but with the Fool and the Ten of Cups here, I mean, this is your new beginning bringing you everything. You know, your new beginning is leading to your Ten of Cups. <laughs> this is the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And, um happy family and emotional fulfillment all right so there is definitely a message here about new opportunities spirit made that very clear very clear with the fool twice and her at the bottom of the deck Opportunities, and you're weighing your options with the two of pentacles. It's time to get introspective and heal. In order to move forward with your plan, self love, self love, and healing the inner child. 
even though you've come so far, there's still some work that needs to be done to end that cycle. All right. <clears throat> what new opportunities can the collective expect? Teamwork and collaboration. Working with people. Oh, truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. You're highly protected. This is Archangel Michael here with the Temperance card. Highly protected and supported. Highly protected and supported. Okay, so we've got Archangel Michael, we've got Baphomet, and we've got the Hanged Man, which to me is, <clears throat> you know, if we're going to go there, Jesus on the cross is kind of a representation of the Hanged Man. This is personal sacrifice and really gaining clarity. I mean, this... Look here. This is your enlightenment. And seeing the connection, seeing the threads between you and Source. The devil card's not always bad. Okay? This is about our karmic and soul contracts. Okay? Some of them are karmic. Some of them are divine. But this is about the threads that hold us together. But you've got Archangel Michael here as protection. This is this is a divine contract. This is um, this is your mission. <clears throat> this is your mission. This is the new opportunity. The new opportunity that you're gaining clarity on. It all has to do with coming together with other people. Working together with a community to um, okay. When I started going through my awakening my awakening this time uh, probably 2018 it was before I had my heart attack so it had to have been like 2018 I um, have had this dream of building a community on a property doing like a whole ass retreat center, a healing center, where people like us could come, go, be at in order to heal other people as well as heal ourselves. So like I'm talking healing each other, healing ourselves, healing for the collective through our own
but doing it ourselves. Doing it ourselves. I just want a place where like-minded individuals can gather together and work as a team in order to heal ourselves and each other. A safe place for them to go. Like, I see a hippie commune with little itty bitty tiny houses and meditation rooms and saunas and gardens um you know animals so that you know we have food like I, I want the whole experience and this is my dream far away from other people so and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. three of wands and the hermit like you just have to love yourself enough to do this the fool's come out twice during this reading the fool has come out twice so all you have to do is take that leap of faith all you have to do is take that leap of faith and we've got the page of cups that just hit the floor Emperor is at the bottom again, the high priestess. <laughs> you know that the secret to all of this is becoming childlike. Healing your inner child is going to be the key that unlocks the doors for you. Allowing your intuition to guide you toward that inner child, inner teenager healing. Kind of important needs to be done. So I'm going to pull one final card from the Priestess of Light and then we'll read from the guidebook what it says. What does this collective need to know about this baptism by fire? <clears throat> We have courage, strength, fierceness, and family, and... It's the lion. Leo energy. Strength energy. This is number two. Two is about duality. This is about coming to union with yourself. This card, the two, is very clear. This is about balancing your beast. This is about taming the primal nature of the human be courageous, be strong, be fierce, protect your family, spirit has your back. The guidebook says, the lion looks ahead to the time before, to the time before him with tranquil courage, ready for anything. And he reveals that an important event is on the horizon for you. A situation may require that you summon up your courage and perhaps take a few risks. The lion is known as the king of the beasts because of his mighty roar and regality. This situation facing you may involve direct action or strong communication of some sort. You must have the courage to express your truth and make your desires known. 
take action on your own behalf no matter what or whom you're dealing with. The word courage comes from the French word for heart. This card is telling you that even if you have felt uncertain or frightened in the past, you now have the strength of heart to face your life with self-actualized clarity. Whether it's regarding a situation at work or a relationship, the action you engage in or expression of your truth now will be blessed by the purity of your own divine heart. The lion is a social animal that lives in family groups, so on a practical level, this card may be sending you a message regarding that experience. You may need to care for a family member or encourage them to take greater care of themselves. A new member of the family may also be coming your way. Today's affirmation, I bring the courage of my soul to all the issues of my life. I stand in my true power now and always. And I'm going to leave it here. Like, for real. I don't know if I'm going to post this video tonight or tomorrow. But, you know, the kingdom of heaven is within you. All you have to do is dive deep inside and recognize that you and Source are one. Let your inner child out. Have the courage to allow the true you to come out and play. And that's all I have for you today. Collective, I love you. Have a good weekend, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.